and welcome to Rodas Reviews. Uh, before we start, let's make clear one thing. There are quite a few bands with the same name, Nurfrost, and even two of them are from Germany. This is the other one from Saarland, and uh, this is their new MCD after their debut album a couple of years ago. Naturgewalten was not exactly a good album. In fact, it was worse than mediocre black metal release, which it, which it's very kind of a 90s melodic, unoriginal black metal that had no chance with even the basic black metal bands in the given year. It's one of those releases which really shouldn't have seen daylight as a full-length album, but rather as a demo or something. But now, luckily for us, things have changed and tides have turned. This new MCD, Ad Infinitum, is a couple of steps forward, and even if it's not original still, it's at least totally worth listening to. So here, let's take a look on this MCD, which is kind of a unboxed it already from its jewel case, mainly because it was delivered to me like this. So here is the MCD, kind of having this snowflake image, very well fitting for the team here. This is the in-case booklet. I have no idea what is this broken uh, time device doing here. Maybe just describing that into infinity and all that stuff. And then we have this uh, track listing here, once again showing you the snowflake idea and having this kind of a white gray paper or natural white cardboardish feeling is quite interesting considering this to be a kind of a typical black metal release. So here is the cover. Uh, which I am not sure if you can properly see due to the failing automatic zoom, but here is the kind of a guy in a cosmic background setting doing whatever. And here is the track listing. So let's take a look inside. The peek inside shows us uh, some lyrics, pictures of the cover, more lyrics. The guys, the four-man band here with their Mad Max type of outfit. More images telling you some ring grew stories. And yet again, the image on the other side and the recording info and lineup and whatnot with the links. So, kind of nice looking uh, release in my opinion. Maybe even better than what the actual music is. But like I said, Nordfrust has taken a step forward, and actually, maybe a couple of them, because this is so much better than the previous one. Now, this one has only five tracks, and with basically intro and outro, and three real songs. And that ticks for about 20 minutes in total. Now, the music here is melodic, kind of a melancholic black metal in the very typical Nordic way. There's nothing new per se to the music, it's something that all of us in black metal have heard a million times before, but that doesn't change the fact that this album is pretty pleasant to listen to. The music is, like I said, kind of a typical in the genre, so while it's kind of familiar, it's still something that is really easy to be enjoyed, except for a couple of facts. While the shrieking vocals are quite okay, nothing special, but quite okay. The growling vocals, which are fortunately uh, not the main stuff here, are something that could have been just, you know, left out. Or at least they could be way, way better. They are not on par with typical death metal growling. They are just something here to, I don't know, fill the gaps, basically. And uh, the guitar sound is somewhat weak. And that is a slight problem because it kind of makes those riffs sound a little bit sloppy and kind of a weak, kind of a, like a, some demo from 1993 or something, except that this was recorded in 2017 or something like that. So the production is kind of a weak here, 
But the real problem, in my opinion, with the production is the horrible drum sounds. Well, you know, the cymbals are quite okay, but the actual uh, drums sound pretty much like this. And that isn't exactly a good sound for any kind of metal release. It just sounds like somebody's, you know, banging their tie and... Well, if that is totally acceptable by the band who I am to judge, but... Uh, this could be so much better with, you know, a little bit better production. You wouldn't even have to change much, but, you know, replay some drum sounds, fix that guitar sound, and it could be way better. But if you're gonna look past that, because this is kind of a raw melodic black metal, then this album is, or mini CD, is actually quite worth your listening time. Just do not expect too much, and you should be totally okay with what the band has actually put out. So, those in raw, melodic, melancholic black metal, check this one out and hope you like it. For others who are looking for more stronger production and maybe not so melancholic stuff, just skip this one, this is not for you. Thank you for watching this review and as always, click subscribe button or thumbs up down and leave your comments on the box below. See you next time with the next review video, Rauta out.